In the past, the CISO was perhaps the most senior or most technical uh, information security person or practitioner, and CISO was just really the, the place that you graduated to. But the job has changed. So if you're not interested in being an executive and taking on all of the, the stress and challenges and rewards that come with uh, an executive position, then being a CISO might not be the right position for you. And that's okay. There are lots of ways to excel in cybersecurity without becoming a CISO. So while CISOs may not need to have their hands on the keyboards as much as they used to, they still need to be able to understand and make decisions about technical topics and often uh, sophisticated and detailed technical topics. Um, it's difficult to defend against attacks that, that you don't understand. So even though you might have a team of really technically skilled people, in order for you to understand what's happening in the environment and in order for you to be able to communicate it in a convincing way, um, you also have to have sufficient technical skills um, to be able to do that. But one of the biggest changes we've seen in the CISO position over the last decade has been its evolution into a, a, a business role, into a role that involves as much about uh, relationships as um, technical skills. And the key to establishing meaningful relationships with your business partners, your peers, uh, your customers, um, and the, the people that you service ultimately, um, the key to that is really around uh, empathy and reaching out to understand the challenges and problems that other folks have. So empathy is really what allows a CISO to effectively connect with those around him or her. Um, and that allows a CISO to effectively internalize what different levels of risk tolerance are present in the organization um, So, and make better decisions about how to implement controls that, that support those levels of risk tolerance. The CISO role is really a, a, that of a translator, um, ensuring that protections that are put in place are aligned with the goals of the business. And in order to do that, the CISO has to be able to communicate with both sides of that equation, both the technical controls that get put in place and also the business leaders and business needs that um, define the levels of risk tolerance uh, that are, are, are specific to each organization. The modern CISO uh, is as much a business leader as a technical leader, and that has very real implications in terms of their understanding of how a business is run and the finances of that business. But it's, it's more than just understanding. Uh, the modern CISO needs to not only be able to, to participate in those discussions, but also needs to be able to lead discussions on financial topics that are relevant to the business. So more than any other skill, this financial fluency is truly a requirement for the modern CISO to be a, an asset to the business more than just a participant.